Uh, okay, guys. Uh, today we're going to look at the, the the velocity diagram. Two stage. We're still on this two stage. Uh, I'm just going to do these uh, two questions here, and then I'm not going to do them up to scale. I'll just indicate how to draw this uh, two stage and to understand the the the, the, the language that they are. Uh, speaking here so now we have a 510 uh, kilo uh, kilograms of uh, uh, of of gas per a minute leave the uh, velocity component uh, two stage impulse tube uh, impulse turbine with a relative velocity of uh, 210 so uh, this is our relative velocity on the second stage we can say uh, this is vre which is the outlet because uh, it's a leaving what the impulse uh, turbine at, at at the second uh, stage no? so it's uh, it's leaving the impulse turbine and it's what it needs a relative uh, velocity that means it's vre2 and then uh, we have uh, they say that the the, the moving blades and the moving blades rotate at this uh, this is the is our speed and it has a diameter so these uh, two uh, the, the this speed will give us our initial velocity which is the average uh, moving blade velocity so we know the the, the the formula for average moving blade which is u squared to pi at d n all over 60 m right and 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 uh, we're going to okay and then they say that the inlet and then the inlet and the outlet angle of all their uh, moving blades are the same that means everything on 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 their uh, inlet or outlet of the of the blade are the same and then we have uh the they say the velocity flow at the exit uh um, okay at the turbine exit is uh, 105 meters per second so the velocity flow that this is vf né? the uh, this is vf which is the velocity flow and then uh, we have the coefficient of uh, this uh, 0 0.9 right so now let's draw the okay they say we have to use this scale of one centimeter is equals to five uh, 50 so, uh, so, okay 50 uh, millimeters so uh, now in this case we are, we are not given any of 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 the um, we are not given any of our angles no? so what we're going to do now we have to draw uh, our initial velocity here so our initial velocity they said our initial velocity we are given the rotation no? the rotation was uh, okay i'm going to say pi times uh the diameter is going to be 1.03 uh, uh, meters times uh, the, which is 310 uh, to zero divided by 60, okay, which is going to uh, give us one, 174.499, uh, let's say four, uh, let's say five meters per second so this is our initial velocity so we're going to measure our initial velocity here and then at uh, this initial velocity we're going to uh, divide it by with our scale remember our scale is one centimeter is equals to uh, 50 uh, meters per second so and that means you divide this by 50 and then you get uh, the initial velocity here and then you are not given uh, any of uh, the uh, on, on the second uh, stage on the first stage now so let's go to our first our second stage so this is our second stage and then on on the second stage we are given only uh, their relative velocity here on the second stage we are only given the relative velocity of 210 uh, 10 meters per second the outlet which is v r uh, e2 yeah? which is 210 10. so this 210 we're going to divide it by 50 and then this 210 when you give divide it by 50 it gives us 4. Point 4.2 centimeters yeah? so this is the 4.2 centimeters which is going to be this line but we don't know the angle and then we are also given uh, the, the relative uh, velocity né? or the flow the, here they say the flow uh, the the velocity of flow at the uh, the, the turbine exit is 105 uh, so this relative velocity of flow which is 105 we're going to divide it by 50 and we get um which is okay which vf uh, is equals to 
uh, 2.1 centimeters. So this 2.1 centimeters is the relative velocity or, or is the velocity of flow which is going to be this um, which is Vf, this line here. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's our uh, velocity of flow at the exit side. Now remember this side is the exit and then this angle, this side is what is our uh, inlet. So now uh, you have to draw this line which is going to be 2.1 2 centimeters and then this 2.1 centimeters you just have to draw, measure it uh, vertical and then stretch this line here. So when you stretch this line, that means our relative, our, our relative, our exit velocity, our relative uh, velocity, it will be uh, touching this side. So you just measure 2.4.2 uh, from here, and then uh, up to up until it intercepts this line, because we don't know this one and we don't know the angle here. So we just draw this line up until it intercepts here which is going to be this one is going to be 4.2 uh, centimeters and then when it intercepts here that means now you have this velocity also so which this is v uh, i2 or v e sorry v e2 uh, which is you're going to measure this line also and then when when you are done measuring that line now you have the angle here so when you get this angle, they said all the 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 velocity, uh, all the inlet and the outlet. When you check here, on on our on our statement, they say uh, the inlet and the outlet angle of uh, for all the moving plates are the same. So everything is uh, the same. So um, maybe you get this angle as uh, 20 uh, degrees. That means the other one, this side, it will be also 20 uh, degrees right so when you get this 20 you know that uh, the coefficient of friction we are given which is k which is 0 0.96 so when you are given this one and then you can multiply by uh, this when you multiply 4.2 by 0 point or oh, sorry you divide it you divide by uh, 0 0.92 and then you get this side which is going to be 4. Point uh, three, uh, so let's say three eight centimeters. So now, when you have this line, therefore you know that you have this one also, right? And then and now uh, we can continue from uh, the, the 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 first uh, stage. So when you go into the first stage, oh, and also you have to measure this one, and then maybe you will get this one uh, at, at an example because I'm not uh, writing uh, this thing up to scale. Maybe you get this uh, VI as uh, maybe they say you get it as five centimeters, right? So to get if it's five centimeters, you know when you to get this line here, we we we, we divide by our scale. So therefore, uh, remember they said our angles, uh, inlet and outlet, are the same. That means even here you're going to do. 20 uh, degrees if it's 20 even this side you're going to do 20 degrees also so then uh, if you get that 20 degrees then divide this 5 by our uh, coefficient of friction therefore you will get this one so this line we know that this line which is v uh, e right this is v e 1 which is equals to uh, the, the the v i 2 all over k which is this one. So when you want to this side, uh, this side, you multiply. If you have uh, this uh, line, you multiply it by your coefficient of friction to get to this one. But now we do have this one. We want this one, and then you have to divide it. And then when you divide by k, we have it will intercept in this line, and then you get to this one also, which is V R. Uh, in and then we divide by your scale uh, by your coefficient of friction and then you get this uh, side and then from this side you just uh, close it and then you are done with your velocity diagrams um, so if, if if you don't understand anything that I have just said here yeah, you you can uh, email me and then I will uh, I will do it up to scale just uh, for, for for you and then and then uh, now um, that we are done with, with question one, now we are done with this question one, then let, let's look at this question, question number six also. So uh, let's look at here, question number six. 
So on this question number six, we have a velocity uh, component. Uh, a velocity component's impulse uh, turbine has uh, two rows of moving blade uh, with um, with a row of uh, okay. Let me just zoom out a bit. Yeah, with a row. Uh, okay, with a row of uh, a fixed blade between them. And then we they say that the the, the, vel the nozzle delivers steam at uh, this one. That means this is the nozzle velocity so vi one, right? And then uh, at an angle of uh, seventeen uh, degrees. That means this is your nozzle angle, also which is seventeen uh, uh, degrees. And uh, they say it with the the plane of rotation of the wheel. And then they say the first. Um, the first row of the moving blade has a outlet, uh, has an outlet here. Yeah. They say an outlet angle of this, uh, which is that is the first moving blade of its outlet, which this one's our outlet. Let's say this is the this uh, outlet angle, and then uh, the second um, the second row has an outlet of this. So we have this also an outlet angle of the second row. Uh, of the uh, moving blade and then we have they say here the row of uh, the fixed blade has um, an angle of uh, it's an outlet ne? outlet angle of this one so this is like a nozzle angle on the second stage remember this is the fixed and then the fixed it's dis is discharging or is exiting or which is outlet at this uh, one which is going to be number two here and then uh, we have the mean uh, radius, uh, which is our radius and our speed. So these two will give us our initial velocity. So, and, and then I'm just showing you how to draw this. And so on, on, on this question, you, you, you do have, uh, you do have uh, all these, uh, these formulas for N trust, Excel of uh, the Excel trust on the shaft, the total force, all these things. You do have, and then uh, I, I hope I know that you, the problem is with the velocity diagram. So now uh, with the, the velocity diagram, this one is simple because everything you are given here. Let me just uh, write it here. Uh, okay, let's write our data first. We have a uh, vi1, which is uh, the velocity of the uh, nozzle, uh, which meters per second, and then we have also uh, the, the the nozzle angle. Yeah, the nozzle angle it's uh, i which is 17 and then we have the the exit angle the exit angle of the uh, fixed blade on the first stage is 18 and then also the this one on the second stage which is 36 and then we have also uh, the outlet of it of the this is uh, the fixed blade which is uh, Vi2 on the second stage, uh, v. so which is going to be 22 degrees. Yeah, that's fine. And then you can calculate our our initial velocity, which is going to be pi multiplied by our radius, which is zero point, our diameter, 0 0.155. Uh, make sure that uh, this is in meters, ne? millimeters. So, so therefore you have to make it in uh, meters. So divide by our thousand there and then multiply by four thousand divide by sixty and then we get our initial velocity so uh, if you have our initial velocity now we can calculate our uh, control our our velocity our velocity diagram so this is our initial velocity and then when we have our initial velocity we have the nozzle angle here which is 17 and then uh, the, 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 the speed also of the nozzle angle, which is 660 uh, meters per second. And then when we do have this one, we can just close it in now. So that means now we have VR uh, I1, which is custom. Then you will uh, measure this line using your ruler. And then uh, we also had uh, 18. The said here is uh, it is 18 degrees which is the outlet angle so the outlet angle if it's 18 therefore uh, we multiply this one by our coefficient of friction to get this line we know that v e uh, is equals to the coefficient of friction multiplied by vr 
one. And then when you do have this side, therefore we close it like that. And then now we are complete with our first stage. And then on the second stage, we continue on the second stage. On the second stage, you are given this uh, 32, uh, which is an exit angle uh, on the blade. And then we have also this one, which is there. And uh, in the sharp. So this 22, it's CM, this 22 degrees. And then uh, we also have uh, this other one here, which is, uh, sorry, this other one here, which is uh, 36 degrees, right? So if it's 36, therefore, to, to, to get this line here, we know that it's, uh, if uh, we do have this line, let's say this line is, uh, let's say it's uh, six, uh, let's say it's six centimeters. So if it's six centimeters to get this one, therefore, is this uh, two will be equals to the six centimeters multiplied by our coefficient of friction, and then you get this line. So we close it again, and then if we do have now this one, we might uh, we do have also this one, uh, which we're going to multiply by our coefficient of friction, and then for you do have this one, and then we are done, and then now you can complete the Excel uh, trust. Uh, the total force applied on, on, on the blade and then you can also calculate the power, the, the blade uh, efficiency and uh, also the average uh, velocity. So this average velocity is your initial velocity. Okay, thank you for for, for, for this one. So uh, tune in to, to, to the next video. We're going to do uh, these other two questions. And then with these other two questions, before, uh, I think you will be able to do your examination. You will write your, this chapter, which, uh, it's uh, 20 marks for free. This is fun, it's for free. Thank you.